viewers uh, i greet you all and i know that uh, many of you have not uh, heard from the horses mouth i mean from the governor himself governor charles Solud, on the planned railway in anambra state and um you know this is the things that we've been saying all this while but uh, i want you to hear it from the governor himself and uh, also the idea of uh, independent power plants they are all encompassing and uh, he has to say some other plans that he has in Anambra state some are already working out as we can see but some are yet to be seen so in that light you know we are going to hear from him what he said especially on that uh, planned railway you know all this why we've been talking about railway the southeast governors should connect themselves with a railway everything is not about road 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 there is too much pressure on our road and uh, you can see our roads are being built by internationally experienced contractors so all these, uh, you know, uh, loads on our road it makes the road to have easy tears and wheels. So the right thing to do is to diversify our transportation. You know, if that rail system can come into existence, that would be a very good thing for the states and South East as, as large. Because in a matter of uh, 15 minutes, you can move from Oka to Onicha and go for your walk. You can move for Ipulobia and come down to Onicha. In a matter of 20 minutes, you are at your place of work. So these are the kind of things that, uh, you know, we should be talking about to get it right in Anambra State and South East as large. And, uh, you know, we always talk about... You know, as if uh, Southeast is not, uh, you know, moving fast to catch up with what is happening, the trend of events. We are not looking at other Nigerians. We are looking at international standard. That is the point. Observe the internationally acceptable standard and let's go by it. Nobody waits for anybody. Everybody is struggling to fire on to move ahead because nobody knows what will happen tomorrow and if anything happens and our place is not conducive for ourselves well uh, we have ourselves to be blamed and secondly the idea of um, expansion of the uh, transportation system making it to be quite effective like what Enugu State is building now bus, mega bus terminal. I think I showed you guys the video. You see the large area of land they are demolishing. Just a bus terminal. I wonder how that bus terminal will be. But we are waiting for them as we hope to be giving you guys updates in that regards. Very large area of land though. You saw it in my video, you know. And there is not only at uh, Enugu, Soka is there, and other zones they have in Enugu. Then Abia State has followed suit. Abia State is building or is about to build a mega bus terminal. Mega one, the same thing. You no, know, it's just what we have been saying about transportation. Anambra State ought to have the best transportation system when it comes to South East. Not because we are, we 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 have the money or uh, we have rich people. No, it's because Anambra State is commercially inclined more than every other state in the southeast, probably Abia State. That commercial nature deserves well connected road system. That is the point I'm making. I hope you guys understand the point. So that is it. So anything we are not doing, if you have not gotten the transport system to be in the right place, then we have not started. 
aeroplane that is using the airport is quite limited to some people but this rail system has to be in place and be functional intercity railways interstate railways and then the rest of them that is a very good starting point so we are waiting for soludo to commence this mega project and uh, that is what you know gives people joy in the state where there is a mega project going on a mega project that people will see and say yes something is happening that is the point i am making so we are waiting for the commencement of that but like i said i want you to hear what the governor himself said concerning the uh, uh, railway and the uh, the NIPP, that is Independent Power Plant, and some other plans he has for the state. So let's listen to him straight away. We to intentionally prepare and package Anambra as the next axis of prosperity. Very intentional about addressing the issue of power. We we'll sign an agreement with EEDC. We'll have gas pipelines being planned to be able to energize independent power plants and to really have develop an Anambra electricity market. Urban regeneration is on course. Our water and ports, as we mentioned, on course. Our planning a real feasibility study and master plan. That's part of the MOUs we are going to sign today. A 2,000 kilometer fiber optic dots being laid across the state to give people internet access. And we are determined to break the jinx, decade old jinx, about availability of urban and rural pipe-bomb water schemes in Anambra State. That is also on course. Industrial city, industrial parks are export emporium. And Africa's largest shopping mall is on course. That's being designed now. The feasibility study is finished. The agricultural regeneration, palm and coconut revolution, etc. We're also having our people intentionally. We're developing from importation to production and exportation. We'll take you to the solution fund city here. It's the destination point. The world will intentionally plan to come to Anambra. And in a few years' time, our goal is that any visitor, any foreigner that gets to Nigeria and hasn't been to Anambra, hasn't been to Nigeria. Our human capital is our biggest resource ever. We have the gas, we have natural resources, uh, minerals, solid minerals, and so on. But our greatest resource is human capital. And we are intentionally, we are intentional about developing our human capital to be productive at home, but also to be exportable abroad. But just to tell you, our potential investors, that Anambra, we are firing on all cylinders. And Anambra will be that place for you to come.